That's why I'm so enthusiastic. That's why I can't believe that I'm literally a flagship smartphone user wanting to use this foldable more than my flagship devices. Woo Absolute fire. This might be the best phone in a long time. Wait, 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 let me explain it all to you. Now, it's not perfect by a long shot. It still has a ways to go. And I have a lot of suggestions on how Samsung can make the Z Flip 4 become the new go-to smartphone in foldables, literally. Now, let's talk about this Z Flip 4 because as someone who is a diehard Galaxy Note user, S22 Ultra user, Z Fold 4, Z Fold 3, iPhone 13 Pro Max, as you see the pattern, I'm top of the line, big massive phone, best cameras, I like the best the cream of the crop when it comes to smartphone devices. I'm pretty sure a lot of you do too. But this Z Flip right here, I'm falling madly in love with this device day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, the more that I use it. And it's a simple word, convenient. This is probably one of the most convenient smartphones on the market design wise and soon to be hopefully performance wise. Literally this design, that we've come to know, the glass sandwich has plateaued. Let's be honest, let's be real. What else can they do to this design to make us get excited about it on launch day? It's not much. They're pushing the cameras. That's the only thing they can upgrade. But I mean, we got bezel-less displays. The only caveat is the camera cutoff, but that's not that big of a deal. Like all they can do is minimal upgrades and adjustments to this flat sandwich design that we've come to know as our smartphone of today. Hence why a phone like this should fold. That's a hint to where I'm going in this video. And I'm gonna tell you why. When it comes to the Z Flip 4, the number one thing that's beautiful about this is the build quality, the development over the years as to where we're headed in foldables. This thing has come away. This is the fourth generation. There's still a way to go. But where we are right now is looking promising for the future. Awesome build quality. The looks of this thing, they look great to me in my eyes. I love the look of this device and this smartphone. I believe that this looks to be one of the best Z Flips to date. This thing looks phenomenal. I'm appreciative of how it looks. We got Snapdragon 8 Plus, which means we're getting the latest processor for performance and efficiency. There's some other things that they can add to that latest processor so that we can get that flagship experience. Let's be honest, this only has eight gigabytes of RAM and I haven't noticed it lately, day to day, but I wanna push a device like this to flagship capability. So if we get that flagship RAM storage and we get those flagship capabilities because we got the flagship chip, we start adding more of the flagship specs, Yo, this phone becomes like ideal for the everyday user, even the ones who like the top of the line tech. Because not everybody wants to lug around a massive Fold 4 in order to get all of the whole kit and caboodle when it comes to, you know, top of the line tech. It'll be nice to do it in a compact form factor that folds into an even more compact form factor. And when we get into this display, foldable AMOLED with 120 hertz, refresh rate, and 1200 nits of brightness. Whew. The only drawback is the Max is full HD. Let's change this to quad HD, Samsung. I'll talk more on that when we get into the display department. Okay, there's a con with this display that you wanna know about, trust me, but wait till we get to the display section. Let's just do this quick overview. All right, when it comes to the cameras, two 12 megapixel cameras, 12 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide. In my previous video, I misquoted, I said, 50 megapixels, I was getting confused with the Z Fold 4. I got a lot of products, I'm doing a lot of reviews right now. My mistake, my apology. I have since edited that out of that video, so you won't see it. Just in case you saw it, I just wanted to correct that. You know, same typical 12 megapixel cameras being recycled. Why not take these two cameras and put them here? Game changer, Samsung. Man, I'm giving y'all the sauce. Y'all better take heed to what I'm saying. Now, when it comes to battery, this only has a 3,700 milliamp hour battery, and that's not flagship by far. And honestly, in order to get a bigger battery in here, they need to increase the size, because that's generally what's gonna have to happen. And I'm okay with the size getting a little bit bigger to get a bigger battery. Now, 
The last thing I want to point out so far about this Z Flip 4 that I've experienced just in the, from the quick overview is convenience. That is the word. Convenience. Convenience. Pocketability. Convenience. Foldability. Convenience. This phone is by far one of the most convenient smartphones that I've used in a very long time. Everything has gotten bigger and bulkier, but not as convenient. I think we need to get back into prioritizing convenience, Samsung. And that's where the Z Flip Fold comes right to the rescue. Now, as far as performance, as I said, we have the Snapdragon 8 Plus in here. So we're getting the latest performance and efficiency. The only thing that we need to pair with that to really push it into that flagship tier is higher RAM counts. I don't know if you have to increase the size Samsung to get more RAM in here, but I'm telling you, it can be so much more and it needs to be. Like it deserves to be flagship tier. You got charging the rack for this. That's flagship price point. Let's get some more flagship features. I understand you gotta pay for the tech, but make it happen Samsung, make it happen. Now, on to the display. Let me tell you guys the con of this display. The first con I pointed out in my previous video is reflective. As you can see, if I get my if I get to the right angle and the light, my light hits it, you can see that reflection right there. Boom. The people saying that this is a con, that little indention, don't listen to them. Any reviewer nitpicking at that. Anyways, back to this display. The real true con is if you wear polarized sunglasses and you look at this display, things get funky. And here's the truth. On my iPhone 13 Pro Max with those same polarized sunglasses, I'm able to see the display as normal. It's just tinted because I'm wearing sunglasses. So everyone always likes to bring up and talk about how Samsung manufactures iPhones displays. So that's how I know Samsung has the technology to give us a display on a Z Flip that doesn't combat you wearing polarized sunglasses. Fix it. But outside of that, this display is beautiful as usual with Samsung AMOLED goodness, 120 hertz refresh rate, as I said earlier, and it's vibrant as ever. So pulling up your social media, let's go on Twitter, hopefully nothing too wild comes. Oh, some wild stuff on there, hold on. Let's scroll that beautiful, smooth, vibrant display is at your service. You gotta love how well this display performs on a day today. Watching content, videos, the speakers, the combination of that, consuming content, this thing is a beast. And you can do it in so many different ways. <laughs> now, let's talk about battery. Now that's one place where, because they're keeping it so small and compact that, I mean, physically, you can only go so far. 3,700 milliamp hours of battery. Now, it's super early and my battery, even if I pull up the settings, it's still getting to know my usage patterns because a lot of people like to jump to the conclusion on battery before allowing the battery is proper due diligence and time to get to know you, your usage and make adjustments. It's an artificial intelligence learning how you use your battery. So if you look at my battery right here, it still says learning usage patterns. So it's going to optimize it to my use cases, but it's going to take a little while and time to get to know how I use my device. And boy, have I been using this device because this is my favorite device to go to right now due to its small compact size and convenience. Also, as I always say, battery is 100,000% subjective to the user, their apps, and their own optimization. So everyone's gonna get a different experience, but I will let you know my personal experience on the week later review when it comes to battery and I'll do it the brutally honest way. The only way. Now, let's talk about cameras. My only con with these cameras, these same recycled 12 megapixel cameras that Samsung likes to use is they're not this caliber. They deserve to be this caliber on this smartphone. And the main reason is this is the favorite, my new favorite smartphone for doing selfies and video work of recording myself because simple as this, I can use the rear facing cameras, which are the better cameras, and I can see myself while doing it. I just need it to be flagship quality like the S22 Ultra and have proper skin tone reproduction and it'll be perfect. So if I go into video, right? 
you double tap the display, I can now see everything in full, meaning I can record myself. Look how easy this is to hold. I don't have to worry about dropping my phone. I hit record on this device and I'm able to see myself in the full frame and I'm using the best camera available on this device to capture this video footage and have it look as fly as ever. And to me personally, this right here is everything. This is the creator's dream when it comes to creating content on a smartphone. And it's so much more convenient than trying to do this, which no one does because you need to see yourself. So you're gonna use the front facing camera, which is the inferior camera. Why use inferior cameras when foldables allow for us to use the best camera and still see ourselves? Let's just be honest, using the fold to record yourself and hold is not as let's just be real secure and convenient as if I do it like this. So I'd rather hold my phone like this and capture the best quality video and selfies on the market than doing this to do that. I'm gonna still do it with the fold, but I mean, geez, it's so much more convenient on the Z Flip 4. So this is gonna lead me to get into my user experience so far over these days, which is the most important experience on any smartphone in the most important category. Now, before I go there, I just wonder, Samsung, are you afraid of cannibalizing your S22 Ultras and the cells of your Z Folds by making this Z Flip as capable and as powerful? Please don't worry because this can be the one that you sell so many of that you won't even care what the cells are on the other devices. Now, user experience. That's why I'm so enthusiastic. That's why I can't believe that I'm literally a flagship smartphone user wanting to use this semi flat not this isn't even a flagship. Let's just let's call it what it is. This foldable that has the potential to be flagship worthy more than my flagship devices because it is the most conveniently built smartphone. This is the best design for smartphones going forward, in my opinion. I'm being like honest, as someone who has always used all of this tech, this is where we need to focus. Apple, Samsung, Google, this is where you need to focus because to me personally, this is the future. I can have my large Quad HD, <coughs> I want Quad HD display with my flagship cameras, you see where I'm going, Samsung? With flagship storage and memory, with flagship chips, with the flagship experience, but in a small and compact and convenient package. That is everything. That is why the Z Flip 4 might be the best phone of 2022. My name is CJ, this is CJ Unplugged. Smash the subscribe button along with the bell because it's not the same. Just hitting subscribe isn't enough anymore. You have to hit the bell or else you're gonna miss the content. Got people always in the comments. Hey, I haven't seen you in so, man, YouTube, what's up with that? Cause I've been, I've been here every week, every day, all the time, uploading tech content. Anyways, hit the bell so none of that ever happens. You never miss these brutally honest takes. Oh yeah, and I'm rocking the Watch 5 Pro right here. <laughs> Days later review on this and you guys won't believe what I have to say about it. I gave a fuss about this smartwatch and I got a lot to say about this 5 Pro. So all of these smartphones right now and smartwatches are in heavy rotation and use. The first up in smartwatches will be the Watch 5 Pro. I gotta see if this is what it's meant to be. As well as the Fold 4 and then the normal Galaxy Watch 5s. Peace.